Oh. <laughs> Eric, Eric, guess what? School's out, school's out. I get to tell. No more school, they let us out early today for the last day. Look, Laura, I want to tell too. <laughs> okay, you two. How about we take turns? Okay? Who wants to go first? Okay. <laughs> Becky, you're first. Oh, Eric, it was so nice. We didn't have to do any work. We got to play games all day. It was the best. Oh, that sounds like so much fun, Becky. Mr. Crookston gave us our report card. Oh, Lori, you did so well in school this year. Good job. Look at mine, too. Oh, Becky, you did well, too. Oh, girls, that's so wonderful. And guess what else? Eric, that means you're out of the church right now. Hey, Steph, wh why is he back so early? They saw lights. What? Cliff said they looked like car headlights. No. H how is that possible? I know, everybody's meeting at the church, and they need you there now. Eric. Dad! Cliff and I were hunting up on Pine Ridge. Came across old Highway 89. Saw something that looked like headlights. But how? I know. Dad! This could mean civilization. Don't get ahead of yourself. It could be marauders. Oh, we've never seen marauders with cars before, Carl. True, but that doesn't mean it's not possible. After everything this world's seen, I believe anything's possible. What if they come with technologies? Technologies we used to have. Don't you want to go back to the way things used to be? That'd be great, but we have to prepare for the worst. I need you to ride as fast as you can and find Cliff. Son, we don't know who these people are or what they want. I need you to find out. Sure, Dad. What are you going to do? Me and the rest of the men will prepare defenses, in case they are hostile. Do you think they will be? God help us if they are. Carl, what's happened? Shannon, it's happening. I heard all the news. I know, we've already watched. So have the French, the Chinese, the Russians. Oh no. Oh, Carl. Get ready. We've got to go. Eric. Eric, I think. Here they come. Yes, there they are. They've got one, no, two vehicles. And I think they're... Good Lord, they're hovering. They're hovering vehicles before? None that I know of. Wait a minute. There's some, there's something. Yes, they have a tank. And it's flanked by at least a hundred men, all in uniform. This isn't just another band of marauders. This is an army. An army with technology. And a high technology. They're about 30 minutes out. Let's get in position. Okay, here's the plan. You stay up here, okay. and I'm gonna head down there to see what their intentions are. You should be able to hear everything. 
and get a good clean shot from here. And for Pete's sake, don't get jumpy. But Cliff, I could be much more helpful if I went down there with you. Eric, my boy, the old doc can take care of himself. But- Eric, if they prove to be unfriendly, you need to slow them up as much as possible and get back to warn the village. You understand? Yes, sir. Look at this. This didn't just fall like this. It's been cut. And in the last day or two. Looks like it was cut deliberately to block the highway. Yeah, they chose their spot well. Assuming we'd be on wheels. <laughs> Let's move out. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Who are you? Where do you come from? I'm the commander of the First Corps Guardians. We're from the city of Shaliv. Never heard of it. Not surprised. It's north of here. You're where the city of Kalispell, Montana used to be. You're a long way from home. About 500 miles. So what brings you all the way down here? We heard that there's a village near here. Is that right? Whereabouts? Not exactly sure. Assuming that there is a village at all. And if you find them? We wanted to tell them that there are other survivors. We've come to see if they want to help us rebuild America. Survivors? The city of Shaliv is nearly 70,000. It's the largest city of the four main cities of the Alliance. 70,000? A little surprising, isn't it? There are nearly a quarter of a million of us altogether. I had no idea a group that large survived, not to mention one that close to us. Well, that's amazing. Well, I'm Dr. Clifford Cameron from the village that you're looking for. Excellent. It's a pleasure to meet you, Dr. Cameron. I do apologize for the uh, initial suspicions, but... We understand, sir. We also have to be careful of wanderers ourselves. Dr. Cameron, if you'd like to join us, we'd, we'd like to get to your village by nightfall. By nightfall? Yes, well, not that we can't travel after dark. I thought you said that you didn't know where the village was. Yes, well, we assumed, since you were here, that, that your village must be nearby. <laughs> I see. Well, yes, you're right, uh, and it's not far from here. In fact, if you follow the road about five miles up, uh, we'll meet you by the river. Dr. Cameron, I really must insist that you show us the way to your village. You'll do fine. I'm just so excited that uh, I can't wait. Dr. Cameron, I really must insist. He's on the ridge! Circle around him! Stay down, damn it!
That's six dead and four wounded, sir. We need to go from stun to kill. No! Our orders are to capture them, not kill them. The Major has plans for them when we get them back to the city. <laughs> Dad! Dad! We heard the explosions. What happened? They killed him. They killed Cliff! What? Dad, they know we're here. I don't know how, but they know. Carl, land get the women and children out of here before it's too late. Carl! Get back to the village. Make sure everybody's safe. Dad, no! I'm one of the best shots in the village. I need to stay. Son, that's our family. We've got to know if they're safe. You're the only one I can trust. Dad! Eric, I left Travis in charge. He's only been here a few months. He doesn't know this land. Go back to the village. Get the people. Take him to Widow's Peak. We'll see you there tomorrow. They're here! Go! Go! Dad! We've got to get everybody out of here now! Why? They killed Cliff! They killed my dad! They're here to kill us all! Eric, calm down. You're overreacting. Don't tell me I'm overreacting! Travis, I saw it with my own eyes! Confident idiots. They give them everything they need and they still screw it up. Travis, we don't have time! You gave them everything? Eric, don't do anything stupid. You bastard. I didn't want it to be this way. No one was supposed to get hurt. I'll be in the church. Cliff and Dad are dead because of you! Eric, I don't want to hurt you, but I will if I have to.